Hey everybody, Patton here. Welcome back. We're going to the store. I'm gonna go get those flash drives that I did get like three weeks ago. I still need those. But more importantly, I'm gonna check out a couple department stores, Walmart and Target, like I always go to, and see what they have to offer retro gamers. Cause I've kind of noticed over the past couple years, retro gaming is getting kind of popular again. And that's cool. You got the game companies releasing all the classic systems obviously but what else is there i know you used to only be able to find you know retro stuff in what was that store in the mall that real emo spencer's spencer's gifts yes they used to have that kind of stuff in there but we're not going to spencer's i haven't been to spencer's in years actually for anybody who remembers that store but i have a little bit of groceries and other home items to pick up so i figured you know what I'm going to bring you guys along and we're going to take a look at all these fun retro things that you can get at Walmart or Target. So the plan is Target first. Take a look at their electronic section and I need to get a couple things from there for myself. Then we're going to go to Walmart, take a look at their section and then get my, my frozen goods for me and the lady. So we made it to Target, we're going to go look at the electronics first, and then I'm going to pick up the stuff that I came here for, so yeah, fun times. That's so like I said, you know, there was a Nintendo and Super Nintendo Classic, but they're all sold out. That's a good thing, at least they're offering that kind of stuff. Turn around the corner, you got some Playstations. Two Playstation? No. Wait, sorry, there's a bunch. Lots of PlayStation classics. So I think I'm gonna find a few things here. Let's start taking a look from this side. This is not retro. This is kind of retro. I mean, that's a retro Mario. That counts. We found a hat. A brim hat. Nice, what else? It's a beanie. This looks, I think this is a newer one though. This is a newer style Mario beanie. Nope, that doesn't count. Got Donkey Kong hiding over here. Does Fallout count as retro? I mean, they use the same guy on all the on all the games, so I don't know. I don't know if that counts. But he's here. He's on a cup. This. This is, well, yeah, this is totally retro. I wonder if it's that kind that, like, lights up with hot water or something. Game Boy Cup. That, that's really cool, actually. I would, I kind of want this. Hmm. Now we're getting into it. How about these keychains? Here's an Atari one. This is really cool. It's just like the old Atari. Got a little, hold on, there we go. Mini Atari keychain. PlayStation, I don't think those buttons look right though. They don't. Huh, that's weird. Atari controller keychain. It's a PlayStation 2. Pac-Man pop-up backpack. I guess that's what it's gonna look like. It's Pac-Man coasters. Pins, these are kinda new. People are into the pins. Got some Pac-Man ones and Atari. Or no, what is it? Space Invader. Space Invader pins. Oh, and a whole bunch of zipper pulls. What? What's a zipper pull? You attach it to your zipper. Okay. I guess that's a thing. Then we got the video games. Here's a little handheld. Kind of looks like a Game Boy. 260 games. And these are like actual Nintendo games? Oh yeah. Capcom, Data East, and Tetris. Actual, the actual releases. That's crazy. Oh, and there's 260 of them? How much is this? 40 bucks. That could be a good price. I wonder how strong this thing is. Well, and what versions? I mean, you got Nintendo games here. I wonder if they got arcade versions too. You got this little handheld Pac-Man thing. It's got three Pac-Man games also for 40. Not too bad. I think we saw this in Best Buy one day. So kind of cool. Honestly, between the two, I would, I would go for this one over here. You got more games. Kind of reminds you of a Game Boy. I like that one. And then down here we have all the mini arcade cabinets, Burger Time, Galaga, there's a Pac-Man, a Dig Dug, Mappy, under that there's the Data East, classic, we got that sweet Pac-Man light, reacts to music, I kind of want that, 
I'm probably gonna say that a lot. PlayStation loot box. Now, I don't get these loot boxes because they tell you what's in them on the other side. Isn't there supposed to be some kind of surprise factor? I don't know. But I guess this one has pins, a spinner keychain, a really cool memory card bottle opener, and a steel mug. I mean, this stuff is cool. But shouldn't you be surprising somebody? I don't know. Maybe not. Anyway, there's an Atari one, too. Stickers, collectible pins, another spinner keychain, bottle opener, and a cinch bag. Huh, so very similar. Oh, are they from the same company? I don't know. Nope, this one looks like it's actually from Sony? Yeah, official Sony product. This one's from... Where is it? Numskull. Okay. No, I'm an idiot. The Numskull icon is right there. How about a Midway Classics Arcade? box gaming box I don't know what this is oh it includes a tin a hardcover journal paperboy magnet joust boingler oh okay I boingler and then some stickers I guess oh no this is a pin these are bumper stickers the whole thing looks like an arcade machine that's that's cool I do like this box Anything else? What's on the bottom? Oh yeah, here we go. Here's the Genesis flashback from none other than Ad Games. I heard this one actually wasn't that bad. This is their newest model. It's HD, wireless controller, 720 output, save features, cartridge slot, 85 built-in games. I don't know how many of those are actual Genesis games because the one I got had some Genesis and then some random games that had no business being on the console. This is going for 80 bucks. Then you have the Atari flashback. I got one of these a long time ago also. Not this one though. It was uh, not a good one. But again, same thing. You got the nice controllers, 720 output, rewind games. This has 120 built-in games though. Two controllers. I hope these are better than the controllers I had on my old one. They were infrared. So yeah, you can imagine how fun that was. Then there's these. We're not going to talk about these. How about accessories? We have the NES Classic Deluxe Travel Case. Nice. Can we say any of these things are retro? Is that a GameCube controller? Is this for the Switch or something? Well, we can call this retro. I mean, look. Look at that design. Mario and fireballs. This apparently is called a stealth case. I don't know how this works. But you can definitely, yeah, you can call this retro. That's that's really cool, actually. This is for the Switch, too? Yep. I guess I could, if I had a Switch, I would get that. I don't know what for. Another cool case for the Switch. A card case. I don't understand this. Oh, wait, what? These are what Switch games look like? For real? I had no idea. So anyway, if you have Switch games, you can put them in there. Oh, look at this big thing down here. All right, what do we have? What are you? A messenger bag. Can I move this to the side? I don't think I can. That's really cool. Big old bag with Mario stuff. Oh, and there's something. Oh, what's down here? Level 2 is down here. Some Zelda wall art. You got decals over here. Maybe. We can say this is a maybe. I don't wear hats like this, but I mean... We're close with the Triforce. I don't see anything else. Not like this one with this new Zelda logo. This is a maybe though. Okay, now we're talking. Now we're talking. Yep. This is what I'm here for. All right, sure. Whatever this is. No idea. What do you do with this thing? It's Mario. Is it just something you set up? Like toys? It's a big head. This says bracelet. No, this is a light. We have a mushroom light down here. That's kind of cool looking. I like that too. Oh, Goomba. Goomba light? Another light. What is that? A Zelda heart light. Okay. Oh, and there's a block back here. Hold on. Oh, and a ghost. Spooky. Did it scare you? Ha ha. There we go. There's a crying child somewhere in this store. How about a water bottle? That's pretty cool. Can't be without the air freshener. Smells like mushroom or strawberry. How about a keychain? Includes official sound. We we'll just push the. Oh, it's not. Got some Mario and controllers and some Zelda things that are in the way. There we go. More keychains. All the keychains for all your keys. 
all you could ever want. How about some Zelda pins? This is cool. The gold cartridge down there. Don't care about that. Um, a heart. And the shield. A necklace set. Get it for your loved one. They will be with you and cherish it forever. Coin candies. Never had these. What kind of candies are they? Probably not chocolate. I see nothing in here. I would say chocolate. 2016, this could be expired. And little stuffed toys. Many of them all over the place. Hey, here's Toon Link from Wind Waker. Come at me. Who wants some of this? Who wants some of Link? And a Lucky 2 and a Mario. What is that wind up thing? Is that a bomb? bomb Yes. You know what? I didn't even think about to check the shirts and clothing. Is there any retro stuff clothing wise? I don't know. There's some funny ones. Oh, that's funny. That was a good movie, Sandlot. That, that's, that's that. I don't see any retro gaming stuff though. Some funny stuff. Oh wait, here we go. We got an Atari shirt. All right. I like that one. Some Marvel, Disney, Star Wars. What is that thing? Oh, Buzz Lightyear. Venom. Anything at all. Oh, here we go. It looks like Mario Kart shirt. That's kind of cool looking. What about this side? Some bands, ACDC. Maybe the greatest band ever in the world. This looks like it could be something. Hold on. Is that Sonic? It is Sonic. That's weird. It's kind of weird looking. I don't know. Anything else? Hogwarts. Nope. That's... That's, that's hilarious. Made in the 90s? Um, no. Not, not quite. What are you? You could be... You are! Game Boy shirt. I'm gonna un... Oh man, I feel bad for unfolding this though. But I want you guys to get the full effect close enough. I would wear this. This is a really cool shirt. Very cool. So unexpected. Found some more retro stuff in the clothing department. Almost as good as new. Good enough. Target on the weekend is always a fun time. Anyway, got some hand soaps from Method. Method. I don't know what makes this special, but it was requested, so I got hand soap. Also got myself a Mountain Dew. Here to fuel up. Okay, so just judging from this parking lot, Walmart is going to be busy AF. So I'm just going to meet you inside. Well, here we go. We got the arcade one up that looks like the Galaga. This has been played a little bit. Also, it doesn't seem to be working. Not that I could play it anyway, because, you know, this is what I'm looking at. Sucker's way down there. Not about to do some squats for a little bit of game. So what do they have in stock? We have the Street Fighter ones. They weren't carrying these when they first got released. They couldn't keep them on the shelf. Over here we got the Galaga. Another Galaga. Got the risers. And some signs right above the... Uh, oh, let's fix that. There we go. That looks better. You're welcome, Walmart. Some signs above the, the one-up arcade things. Also... Okay. What is going on here? I mean, I know this isn't related, but is this for real? Like, are, these aren't his movies. He's just on all the covers for some reason. What is this? It's a little bit different here at Walmart. We got some classic keychains way up here. Tiny arcade keychains. Along with the Data East handheld and the arcade stuff that we saw at Target. Lots of flashbacks though. Ooh, Pong. Not that I would buy that, but still, that's cool. Different boxes too, also. I see you back there. Pac-Man, hiding. Fallout box, horror hall. Deadpool. Best of the 80s. Sci-fi space out. These aren't game related. Why am I filming this? Just a few more ad games blast consoles over here. You got their two flashbacks, the Atari, which doesn't look like the other one. Oh no, it is HDMI. And then a Legends. That one's got 50 games. Anyway, that's all Walmart has. We got a little bit of shopping to do, so let's go get that done. And I somehow missed this stack of arcade one-ups. Anything special here? 
Oh, we got all the other ones over on this side. Okay. Oh, there's the Pac-Man one. A literal stack of arcade one-ups. It is crazy in Walmart today. Never go to Walmart on the weekend, but finally found the flash drives, but they all have these things on it. I need an associate and it's so freaking busy. <sighs> I may just get this another time because I don't want to bother with that right now. Obviously for the PlayStation Classic, they say these are kind of funky. 16 gigs though, I don't think that's a lot of space. I'd rather have something a little bigger, either a 32 or something bigger than that. Oh my God. Yeah, never again. I am never going to Walmart on the weekend again. That was too much. There was a literal traffic jam, not in the parking lot, in Walmart with people and carts. There were people surrounded by other people and they were just standing there, make a decision, get out of the way. That's why there wasn't anything recorded except for the electronics department because as soon as I got out of there, and that wasn't a picnic either, by the way, literally people everywhere and just not moving. So yeah, if you want to see what I got, here you go. This is everything I got. There's not much important. Just some snacks and drinks and, you know, we got some vinegar. Got ice cream for me and the lady. Yeah, I'm actually surprised that Walmart didn't have as many retro things as Target did. I don't know why that surprises me, actually. But even like in the, the clothes department, those shirts and stuff, I, I didn't think Target had those. But now I'm kind of interested in that Game Boy that we saw with like the 200 something games. Because those are like Nintendo games. And I haven't heard anything about that before. I need to do some research because I'm, I'm, I'm kind of looking into a handheld retro gaming thing right now. And I think that was only $40, so I'm kind of interested in seeing if anything's been done in terms of hacking it or if it's even worth it for the hardware because the one I'm looking at isn't very strong in terms of what it can play. So anyway, there you go. Tons of retro stuff in your local department store. Just don't go on the weekend because people, did you guys see anything that you like that you would pick up? There was a few things I would get. So let me know in the comments if any of that stuff was interesting to you or if you have any of it, let me know how it's working out for you. Like the lights or keychains. So anyway, thank you so much for joining me and I will see you next time.